Hey, what's up, everybody? I broke some news last night. Well, really, the news was broke on Reddit, but I broke some news last night on YouTube. It was late midnight Eastern Standard Time. I was tired, and it was getting late. But the 2023 uncirculated peace silver dollar, it appears that there has been a select few, 200 to be exact, 2023 uncirculated peace dollars that the United States Mint Director Ventress Gibson struck herself, so it appears, and not only that, but possibly signed all of those certificate authenticities. These peace dollars will be coming with a congratulations card, similar to how you would get with a congratulations set proof American Silver Eagle. This is the Reddit site where we first saw this image. Now this image does not show the autograph, unfortunately, and today I have been unable to find one with the autograph or one that's showing the autograph that Ventress Gibson signed. But unfortunately, with a lot of counterfeits going around today in this day and age, we don't really want to just take a picture for its word because anything can be reproduced, can be counterfeited to look like it's original, but in reality, it's fake. So I wanted to do some work today. I wanted to do some work and I contacted a few different people. I contacted somebody from Coin World. I contacted Paul Gilks and I wanted to see if he would be able to contact anybody from the United States Mint, use his resources to get a hold of somebody from the United States Mint to get some clarification if this is actually true. And I also contacted the United States Mint, not the United States Mint customer service, but I wanted to contact the United States Mint in Washington, D.C., their headquarters, and see if I could get a hold of anybody who would be able to confirm that the United States Mint director, Ventress Gibson, actually signed the COAs and struck a handful, 200 to be exact, of the 2023 uncirculated piece silver dollars. So I did get a phone call back and it was confirmed that she actually did that. They were randomly inserted into orders. Don't know which orders they were. They were just randomly inserting these apparently into orders. Anybody who ordered at least one, maybe multiple 2023 uncirculated peace dollars. Not sure if it was included with the uncirculated Morgan silver dollar. I believe it was only the peace dollar. Other than that, the person who I spoke to at the United States Mint did not have any other details. I wish I had more details. Now, I was poking around last night around one o'clock in the morning, and I did come across one that showed that the COA had Ventress Gibson signature, but I could not find that again today. Somehow it was removed, or maybe you need special access now to go to, I believe it was the collector's forum is where I saw it. Now, if you go to, it's called the collector's forum, and there's a peace dollar thread, you can see how there's like a box of, I think there was like many, like 10 or 20 peace dollars in there. And that congratulations card was kind of just tucked in, in between a box of peace dollars. Now, I did purchase two 2023 uncirculated peace dollars. However, I did not open that box yet because I was still waiting for my uncirculated 2023 Morgan Silver dollar, which has not yet arrived. It's supposed to be arriving today. So possibly tomorrow morning, I will unbox and do a video, unboxing video of my uncirculated Morgan and Peace Silver dollars. I have not been able to get a hold of PCGS or NGC. The question is, if you did order these 2023 uncirculated peace dollars, what do you do now? Do you open the box or do you keep the box sealed and call up the grading companies, NGC or PCGS and send them in? Unfortunately, the unfortunate part about this is that I do not think there is any markings anywhere around the peace dollar that shows that it's a special strike peace dollar. It's the same exact peace dollar, I do believe, in my opinion, that anybody is going to get. 
So as I stated in my video yesterday, there's nothing tying this peace dollar, the peace dollar that you would receive with this congratulations card and with that autographed COA, except that autographed COA and that congratulations card in a sealed United States Mint shipping box. So I believe just like any congratulations set, if the grading companies are going to give you a designation that this is a director's strike and certify the congratulations card, certify the autographed certificate authenticity, I believe it's going to need to be in a sealed United States mint shipping box, in my opinion. So the question then remains, do you keep the box sealed not knowing if that card is in there, if that autograph COA is in there, if, if that congratulations card is in there, keep it sealed, send it off to the grading companies, not knowing what the grade of the coin is and trusting that if it is in there, you're gonna get that exact one back. So in my opinion, it's up to each individual to make the best judgment as to if you wanna send in a sealed shipping box to PCGS not knowing right now if they're even going to certify that or if you're going to open it up and just be satisfied if you do have one of those 200 just having a autographed COA with Betris Gibson's signature on it. And the other thing to possibly consider, in my opinion, is that there's a mintage limit of 275,000 of the uncirculated peace dollars, but only 200 of those autographed COAs to go around and 200 of those congratulation cards to go around. So the odds are very, very low that you're going to get one anyway, especially since there's already been people opening up boxes and already observing that they have one of those autographed COAs, one of those director struck 2023 uncirculated piece silver dollars. So for me, I'm probably just going to open up the box and see if I have one of these in there. I'm probably not going to mess around with sending this off sealed to one of the grading companies, but that's a decision that everybody's going to have to make. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. Are you going to send this off to one of the grading companies? I believe I've heard that NGC has already said they are not going to certify this these coins as being director as being a director strike i'm not 100 sure about pcgs however it'll be very interesting to know what you decide to do let me know in the comment section below are you going to open up your box with your 2023 uncirculated peace dollars or are you going to send it off to one of the grading companies hoping that they're going to certify that coin as a director strike coin 2023 peace dollar let me know your thoughts like comment subscribe share just wanted to give you the information that i did get word back from the united states mint that this is actually a thing they the director did hand sign some of these coas they did put these congratulations card in them and it appears that 200 people are going to get this out of 275,000 possible mintage let me know your thoughts, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.